<laughs> Could this be nature's most irresistible biological attraction? Well, no, not quite. A pioneering research project at Israel's Weizmann Institute of Science has shown the potential of a powerful and hitherto unexploited affinity between two molecular substances, avidin and biotin. The first to demonstrate, two decades ago, how this natural phenomenon can be put to practical use was Professor Meyer Wilczek, working together with his colleague, Dr. Ed Bayer. Like a magnet attracts metal, avidin, a protein derivative of egg whites and certain bacteria, draws biotin, a vegetable-derived vitamin. The attraction and binding power are unparalleled. One of the world's major sources of avidin is this Belgian firm, which processes more than a million and a half eggs a day for the food industry. The demand for avidin and biotin is great and growing for the thousands of practical applications in medicine, research and industry. In the United States, this chemical company is one of several large suppliers of probes containing the avidin biotin complex to what has already become a $250 million a year market in areas ranging from pollution control and blood clotting to diagnosis of genetic diseases, AIDS, and various kinds of cancer. In Milan's San Raffaello Hospital, the Avidin Biotin system has proven an effective tool for pinpointing tumors. Under the direction of Dr. Giovanni Paganelli of the Nuclear Medicine Department, a new diagnostic procedure is being put into practice. This patient is suspected of having liver cancer. She is receiving an injection of biotin. The biotin is attached to an antibody that has been genetically engineered to home in and bind to the receptors on the surface of her tumor cells. Meanwhile, a technician prepares an injection of radioactive avidin for the next stage in the diagnostic procedure. Several hours later, Dr. Paganelli administers the dose of radioactive avidin, which can easily be detected inside the body. The radioactive avidin will zero in and bind only to the biotinylated antibody on the growth. A gamma camera scans the affected areas without any discomfort to the patient. result is a high quality image of the cancer to guide the oncologists in their subsequent treatment. Whereas standard procedures for visualizing tumors may produce inconclusive data, the Avidin Biotin system provides accurate localization and a clearly defined picture. In the next stage, researchers in Italy and the United States are attaching cancer-fighting drugs to the target-seeking biotin to create a more efficient and effective therapy with potentially fewer side effects. Here at Yale University's School of Medicine in the United States, scientists are applying the tenacious avidin biotin complex to the Human Genome Project, a massive international research effort to map the entire human genetic storehouse. Dr. David Ward of the Department of Genetics is the first to apply avidin biotin to gene mapping. His team uses fluorescently labeled avidin to attach to the biotin already on the DNA. In this way, they've been able to localize the specific gene sites on the chromosome responsible for several genetic diseases and certain lung and breast cancers. The avidin biotin technology has played a major part in what we've done for the past decade and has relied heavily on the and prime pioneering work that was done by Mayer Vilchak at the, at the Weizmann Institute. And it was basically his observations of modification of biotin and attaching it to proteins uh, that led us to do similar things, to follow his footsteps and, and uh, label DNA. 
and we have spent the, virtually the last 10 or 12 years using uh, the Abbott and Biotin system for gene mapping, for isolating a variety of, of specific uh, protein complexes. It's played a major role in what we do. The potential for the Avidin Biogen system, first applied by Professor Mayer Wilczek and his Weizmann team, today seems unlimited. And the time is fast approaching when this welcome gift of nature will be widely used, not only to diagnose the afflictions of mankind, but also to cure them.